I came from Morocco. Morocco, like, there is three writing systems. There is Arabic, there is uh, Tifinag, and there is like a Latin alphabet. We live and we, we rise in this kind of environment of three languages, three different writing systems. Before coming in the world of typography, I, I was not aware about this rich uh, heritage or rich context. I find many, many similarities between type design and life many times. Or at least I, I like doing that, you know, like using the type design as a metaphor of, of life. So I find that uh, nowadays we have these huge problems, people hating other people just because they are different or they come from a different place or they believe in, the, in different gods. And I think this project is something that uh, you know, in this realm of typography, you have to preserve differences in every script, and at the same time, you have to match and find similarities in all these scripts so that they can coexist together in a document. So that's something that I really think it's a great value. We deal with scripts that have coexisted and that have, in a way, represented cultures that were in different periods and different times in conflict in one way or another. And what is interesting from our research is talking to people locally about, you know, what is it to them, for example, what does it mean to them, this Tifinagh script, and you get a lot of different conflicting ideas. And what is exciting about that, of course, from a design point of view, is that you, in a way, bring back a culture and almost like experience the birth of how writing systems develop. They start as images, and then they are used, and they, mod you know, they get modified with time. They get into contact with other cultures that have their own writing systems. They borrow from each other. They adapt, and so forth. The designing for this project, for the, for this matchmaking project, is more than uh, designing just a new typeface or new, in this this case, another multi-script typeface. I think it's a work that. Uh, it not always will be used, and it will be useful, I hope so, for graphic designers that will be use these uh, different scripts, but uh, I think it's a good tool to visualize different cultures that live together. When you see the inscriptions in, in the Alhambra, you can be aware about the small details, the rhythm of letters, um, how they are connected each other, uh, you became a little bit more confident when you make decisions. It's really nice to see the uh, Latin being Arabized, but not in a, um, in, a, in some really interesting way sometimes, like in, in some clumsy uh, lettering that you see in the street, for example. And the, the, the great thing is uh, the, the concept that we choose. Um, this strip is kind of uh, justifying our 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 decision and choices and intuitions. Like now it's kind of like, yes, this was an uh, interesting choice.
for me, typography is a way of expression. And I, I, I see it very clear now, more than ever, probably. And, and I think that this is something that gives value to, to my work, because it's, it's me and my attitude. Type design is a very lonely uh, occupation sometimes. Working with people in constant feedback is uh, sharing and you know it's the real thing no like how do you see that how will you do that how it looks now and, and i think this ability of uh, of everybody together is what makes it especially unique i'm basically studying the work of uh, al-kandusi uh, who yeah whose work has been completely sort of forgotten we don't see any interpretation uh, in our modern days related to that and yeah, it's, it was a very special uh, way of treating the letter forms, also this specific style, uh, quite not done before or not done by other people. So I think it's, uh, it's important to revive these things or to bring them again, reinterpret them into typefaces that are definitely relevant to our uh, contemporary uh, society or needs, but at the same time that contribute to the development of, of type in general as a smooth evolution from calligraphy to, or the script itself to contemporary type. We actually, as a team, started three different approaches to how you can approach this problem. And I'm sure that if we had more teams, we would have had also more different um, ways of combining these scripts. And we succeeded. We succeeded in making families that are useful, that are functional, that are um, reflections on a historical uh, development, that are also playful. And so this kind of variety within the three solutions, uh, the three font families we've created, is also a kind of example of the variety you can keep on inventing and, and doing with these things, looking at it, going back, digging more into history, maybe discovering more new things. We needed this door to, to be opened for, yeah, and I mean, heureusement, with, yeah, with this project, it will open the store. People tend to want to keep culture intact in a way. It's almost like mummifying it and putting it in a coffin. And the only way actually culture evolves is because people should constantly look back at it and renew it rather than just preserve it. The best way to preserve is actually by renewing it, by making it actual and relevant. And, um, and I hope we, we succeed in doing that. Anyway, that is our goal in this project.